utility and types of utility that is total and marginal utility now before we get into the types of utility which is these two let's first understand what is a utility as i told you in the previous video one should not actually confuse utility with usefulness okay a thing might be useful to one person okay let's say you have this person called person a and a person called person b there's a particular good let's call it g now this good may be very important to him while it may not be useful for this guy right that does not per se itself means that this good is not having any kind of a utility right now then what does the utility mean let us first see that there is a particular ability to satisfy the wants of a consumer right now let's say for example there is a good let's say we have tea okay and there is a gentleman who's 50 years old who wants to have tea because it's very cold right so this tea basically has a capacity okay capacity to satisfy want of this gentleman right so the tea is said to have some utility to this gentleman or in other words the utility is an ability ability or the capacity to satisfy want for a particular commodity of a person who's willing to spend money right so let's say this gentleman is ready to spend 100 bucks on getting a pack of tea which means that this commodity tea has the ability to satisfy the want of this person okay and the term utility basically is the expected satisfaction right so the expected satisfaction of this gentleman from the use of this commodity is referred to as utility if the expected satisfaction is more we say it has high utility okay if the expected satisfaction is low we say it has no utility so let's say he's feeling cold if you serve him a soft drink or an iced tea will that be able to satisfy the want of this gentleman the answer is obviously no why he's feeling cold if you give him an iced tea he's probably gonna pop off right therefore the expected satisfaction is referred to as the utility you're going to study quite a few more concept around utility in the coming videos okay let's now look at the two types of utility one is the total utility okay and the other one is the marginal utility okay now what does these two concepts mean let us first understand about total utility okay let's take the uh, example of the same old gentleman 50 years who wants to get some tea okay so let's say he gets up at 8 a.m. in the morning okay and he gets the first cup of tea he's feeling literally cold he's dying with cold okay so he gets and buys his first cup of tea the amount of satisfaction we said that utility is the expected satisfaction that he gets from this first cup of tea is obviously going to be very high let's say it is 100 units although we cannot measure it but just for the term of understanding let's say he gets 100 units of satisfaction when he gets the first cup of tea 
As the day moves on, he reaches 9 a.m. Okay, the sun is out. The sun is actually supposed to be yellow. It's just that I've painted everything with yellow, so I was using a blue color. Okay, and he gets him, takes his second cup of tea. Okay, obviously the cold has gone down. Okay, because the sun is out. The man is feeling a little cozier, but yet because there was some cold in the air, so he thought, let me take another cup of tea. Let's say the satisfaction that he gets is 80 units. Okay. Now the time moves forward and it is 10 a.m. He takes a third cup of tea, but because it's quite hot, he's not very excited about it. Let's say this gives him 60 units of satisfaction. Now when we say about total utility, what that means is total utility refers to the total satisfaction that this person gets from consumption of various cups of tea. So total utility is the utility from first cup which is 100 units plus utility from the second cup which is 80 units plus the utility from the third cup which is 60 units or 240 units right total utility is also referred to as okay we'll come back to the formula a little later let me first explain this to you and then it will be clearer when we talk about marginal utility what we are saying is how much is the incremental utility derived by a person from consumption of one more unit of commodity okay so when he consumed first one he got 100 when he consumed second how much is the additional utility that he got he got 80 units right so as he moved from 0 to 1 the incremental utility that he got was 100 units so we say that marginal utility 1 is 100 units let's say the incremental utility he got from the second one was marginal utility 2 and this is marginal utility 3 so marginal utility refers to the incremental utility increase in the total utility by consumption of one more unit of commodity right whereas total utility now we can write down the formula for this is equal to the sum total of all marginal utilities in this case we had three of them right so that's the difference between the total utility and a marginal utility right so what we learned in this video are two things one the concept of utility which should not be confused with the usefulness it basically refers to the expected satisfaction that a person gets on consumption of a particular commodity on which he might be spending some money we also saw what is the meaning of total and marginal utility total utility the sum total of utility derived by consumption of various commodities marginal utility the incremental utility derived from consumption of one more unit plus one okay we hope you would have liked this video if yes please hit the like button you can also subscribe to our channel by clicking the link that will just come to you okay and you can also share this with your friends and help us create an educated world this video is free and will always remain so okay and is brought to you by iedubook.com you can visit our website to access 1500 plus lectures on various subjects like economics maths accounts and all of them are free and will always remains to be okay with that i will be signing off this is your educator aranjay okay we hope to see you in many more lectures on a going forward basis if there are any comments and feedbacks please feel free to provide us we'll be happy to consider them and help us improve thank you